boy, Kenyon A. Snow with Slate, Nova Chronicles. It's your boy, Dysfunctional, Dysfunctional World. All right, so we have to go by the list. I love the request. We will do everybody's request. We just have to go by the list. And even if we miss one in the old one, which we did, so we apologize to this certain uh, subscriber. We miss you. We're going to handle this right now. Today's uh, Zodiac Bible course will be Scorpio Man, Capricorn Woman. Now, I'd like to start off by saying, first off, I'm a Capricorn male, Ooh. and I've tried to date Scorpio women, mm. and it never seems to balance out for me. <laughs> so, with that being said, let's go. All right, all right. You want to start off? All right. The Scorpio man is emotional, uh, full of life. He's something like a Pisces, except they just let whatever their emotions do drive them. And a Scorpio will take those emotions and drive it. Um, the Capricorn is bossy, stubborn, and... They do not like to be called bossy on our channel. They say ambition. <laughs> bossy, stubborn, and full of life, full of ambiance. Um, the Scorpio has a hard time balancing things and when they get with the capricorn they can finally find this this balance that they've been looking for they can find this this bridge of their emotions and if the capricorn and the scorpio t last longer than dating this could really turn into a very positive relationship they're already physically attracted to each other sexually attracted to each other they just need that little Okay, it's cool for me to open the door and let you in. I just want to start by saying the Dark Prince meets Mrs. Cap, Mrs. Zodiac, I call her. And uh, I think that the Scorpio will look at the female Capricorn as a challenge, a woman who won't uh, bend, who won't break to his needs, and that will drive him to want to be with her. That will drive the passion. Because believe it or not, when you're Mr. Rich Kid or Mr. Dark Knight, you don't want everything handed to you so freely. You want to work for it, and you want to get it, and you want to dominate so you can pat yourself on the back. What other better Zodiac to do this than the Capricorn who don't budge so easily? I think that they both can be loyal, but the problem is that Scorpio don't like routine like that. He don't like the routine to say, you're going to wake up this time, we're going to do this, we're going to do this, we're going to do it, we're going to get the financials order. He likes to say, hey... Uh, I'm in charge and I don't want a routine today. I'd rather just eat Fruit Loops or something and chill. So, with that being said, that's where they'll bump heads initially. Also, in the bedroom, they say a lot about Scorpios being so sexual and but so. But it's not, it's not in the bedroom. It's they're sexual and passionate. 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 Comes from not research, not interviews. It comes from the way that they look at life. Mm -hmm. Emotional. And the thing about it is a Capricorn can distance themselves from emotions. And the Capricorn can also look at you while you're emotional with a straight face and a calculated face and say, okay, what's the plan still? Even though you're crying and even though you're emotional, what are we going to do? <laughs> what are we going to do? I mean, you're going to sit there and be a baby or you're going to sit there and just have a tense attention? What are we going to do? That will make Scorpio, every, every yes. Situation. Yeah, yes. that will make Scorpio angry. Like, give me that. So, the thing that I've learned about Scorpio, uh, I mean, Capricorn women, I've dated a lot of them is, uh, you got to put on your grown man pants. And uh, crying ain't going to get you nowhere. Sex ain't going to get you nowhere. Pretty much uh, uh, a plan and a, a sense of urgency establishment going to get you somewhere with Capricorn. She'd be impressed by that. So with these two signs, the Dark Prince meets Miss Cap. <sighs> that structure that Cap puts down there is not going to be very entertaining to a Scorpio man. Uh... How much would she would allow herself to be lured in by the Scorpio tenacities? I don't know. So what do you think about this overall connection? I think you should go first. Oh, okay. Oh, man, it's a hard one. <clears throat> because I feel like 
Yeah. Capricorn could be good for Scorpio if he allows it to be allows her to be. But I'm not sure he's gonna allow it to happen. It's a fight for territory and who gonna rule and who gonna be in charge of who, I feel like. Scorpios do fall for a woman, but it takes a longer time for them to commit. A Capricorn's ready to commit and have a structured relationship. So I have to get this one thumbs up, hmm. and one thumbs down. Well, I have to disagree with that. Hmm. I have to give it two thumbs up. Wow, he's a positive one. <laughs> they say they say this Capricorn Scorpio mix is something forbidden but tempting. Hmm. And I only give it two thumbs up because for whatever reason that I keep meeting Scorpios in my life, I am so tempted. So the stinger. That's uh that's our that's our zodiac for the night. I just wanna say Capricorn women. How do y'all feel about Scorpio men? And Scorpio men, how do y'all feel about Capricorn women? I know some people are going to agree. And some people are going to hate us or say no, go, go, whatever, like they were used to it. But let us know on that because this first time he had the positive one more positive than mine. I guess it, it, we, the jinx are going first is always going to be the shaking one. But this your boy, Keen Ace, Nova Slate, Nova Chronicles. This your boy, Dysfunctional, Dysfunctional's work. Peace. Peace.